Manchester United are going into a rebuild, making this the hardest transfer window summary to make, as there are so many different rumors and needs United must go for. My goal is to simply go based on what I believe is the best fit. Also, it will not be realistic for them to fill every need they have, so I am not going to discuss every need they need this summer. I'm going to try to make this as realistic as possible and limit my spending to 200 million pounds, as that is what is reported is Ten Hag's transfer fund this summer. So here is Manchester United's ideal summer transfer window, including what to do with end of contracts, sales, and purchases. Here is what United should do with all of their end of contract players. It is clear that no one that has an expiring contract in the first team will stay, as Lee Grant, Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata, Edison Cavani, and Paul Pogba will all leave. Before we go into the sales, needs, and purchases, I want to look at two situations. Firstly, in an ideal transfer window, getting rid of Ronaldo does not seem to make sense to me. If he wants to leave, then allow him to, but if he is happy with staying there, there is no need to sell him, as he is not the problem. And I think he would fit that Sebastian Hilaire role for Ten Hag. They should still go for a striker this window, but keep Ronaldo to start next season. Secondly, with Ten Hag coming in, United will have a keeper problem, as De Gea does not sweep and distribute to the same ability as Ten Hag wants. However, United have many more problems to worry about, so they can fix a keeper next summer, so this summer they should keep De Gea, or even try Henderson as keeper for next season. Here are the sales United should make this summer, and I wanted to note that with the amount of outgoings from end of contracts, they should not sell all of their players. The first sale United should make this summer is Harry Maguire. I think everybody at the club has lost faith in him, so just let him move on and United can begin to forget his transfer ever happened. I think United could get £20 million from a Premier League club this summer. The second sale United should make is Phil Jones. It is his time to move on as well. Sell him for £2 million to a championship club. The third sale United should make is Scott McTominay. He really offers nothing to this team except his incredible work rate, therefore move on from him, and I think a Prem club would offer United £15 million for him. The fourth sale United should make is Aaron Juan Basaka. He has been abysmal this season. Let him go, and once again, I think a Premier League club would offer United £15 million for him this summer. The fifth sale should be Brandon Williams. He is currently on loan at Norwich and has been fine defensively but struggles going forward. I think he is not good enough for United and should be sold for £5 million. The sixth sale should be Anthony Martial. He is currently on loan at Sevilla and is struggling. I think he moves on this summer as that is what he wants to do. Let him go and I think he is bought for £20 million. Here are the six transfer needs they should address this summer. The first need is a defensive midfielder, the second need is a left-footed right winger, the third need is a left-footed center back, the fourth need is a striker similar to that of Haller at Ajax, the fifth need is a right back that plays similar to Tomiyasu at Arsenal, and the sixth need is a central midfielder, one that can push forward into attack. When I look at the defensive midfield need, enough cannot be said about United needing a defensive midfielder as that is a crucial need, as United do not have a destroyer to protect the back line. Their midfield is passed through very easily, and having someone to actually stop this is essential, and especially essential for Ten Hag's system. I see three realistic options for this need with Ibrahim Sangare, Jao Polina, and Edson Alvarez. My pick out of these would be Ibrahim Sangare, the 24-year-old Ivorian defensive midfielder from PSV. Sangare is that type of player as he is a physical specimen being 6'3 and is very strong. He is very hard to dribble pass and is very hard to pass around. He is also a very underrated passer of the ball as he can make multiple passes to break lines throughout the match and he fits in a possession heavy system. Ten Hag has watched this guy put up amazing performances against Ajax and I think he would love him in his 6th position. I see him costing around 20 million pounds this summer. When I look at the right winger need, I see another position where they massively need improvement as no one in this team is a really good fit in that position. United typically focused on the left wing, making opposition have easier times against them. United need a threat on the right side. I see two possible right wing options with Domenico Berardi and Anthony. My choice out of these two would be Anthony, the 22 year old Brazilian right winger from Ajax. Anthony is a baller. He is a dribbling machine able to dribble past anyone in the world of football. He can cut inside and run the channels to shoot on target and can also create chances as well. His potential is through the roof and in the right system he could be great which helps that he would be joining his current manager. This is a no-brainer signing, and I see him costing around £40 million. When I look at the left-sided center back need, United need a left-footed left-sided center back that is athletic, good on the ball, and very comfortable in a back four. 
I see two possible options with Evan and Dicka and Paul Torres, with my pick being Paul Torres, the 25-year-old Spanish center back from Villarreal. Paul Torres is exactly what Ten Hag wants, a physically dominating, athletic, ball-playing defender. Him and Varane would really give United a solid back two, and I think he would see massive improvement in not only the defending, but also ball progression. I see him costing around £50 million this summer as this is his release clause. When I look at the striker need, United simply need a striker. Ronaldo, if he stays, which United should keep around, will only have one year left on his deal, so a replacement should be bought and they need to fit the Ten Hag striker mold. Ten Hag wants a tall, physical striker where his best attribute is finishing, and also willing to press. This is what Hilaire does for Ajax currently. I see two possible striker options, with Darwin Nunez and Gianluca Scamacca, with my choice being Gianluca Scamacca, the 23-year-old Italian striker playing for Sassuolo. Scamacca is exactly what I defined earlier. He is physically dominating, as he is able to muscle his way through opponents and is also quite quick with good dribbling ability. He is also very clinical and very good at finding space in the final third. He may struggle to adapt to the Premier League next season, but Ronaldo staying for one more season allows for him to take his time and take over his starting job in 2023. I see him costing United £35 million as this is what Sassuolo stated will take to get him this summer. When I look at the right back need, United with Ten Hag coming in will likely use one of their fullbacks in a build up as essentially a third center back similar to Tommy Yasu at Arsenal. Luke Shaw and Tellez I believe should be the forward looking fullbacks so the right back should be a player that will form a back three and build up and move to midfield in the attacking phase. I see three right-back options with Lucas Klosterman, Jurian Timber, and Nordy Mukulele. My choice would be Jurian Timber, the 20-year-old right-back and center-back playing for Ajax. Jurian Timber, if he is going to not be upset about becoming a permanent right-back, is absolutely perfect for Ten Hag's system. Timber is not physically dominating, which puts fear in club's eyes about his center-back status, but his dribbling and carrying ability alongside his passing talent make him desirable as a center-back and a back three, or a right back and a back two. In the build-up phase, he will form a back three with the two center backs, and then in the attacking phase, join midfield and look to influence the attack with his dribbling and passing talent. He would be an amazing fit for this side, and I see him costing £30 million this summer. When I look at the central midfield need, United need an eight in the double pivot that plays very similar to Ryan Gravenberg. Someone willing to make forward runs, go wide, and pick up possession and help create chances for the forward four. I see two central midfield options with Yuri Tielemans and Ruben Neves. My pick would be Yuri Tielemans, the 25-year-old Belgian central midfielder from Leicester City. Yuri Tielemans is an excellent playmaker and is able to make pinpoint passes all across the pitch. For Ten Hag, he would fit in seamlessly into this double pivot, as his main focus will be moving the ball from defense to attack with carries and passes. The biggest gripe people have with Yuri Tielemans is his lack of pressing numbers. But when you look at Gravenberg, Ten Hag's current number 8, his pressing numbers are much lower. He will be fine, and he will fit the possession-heavy system. I see him costing around £25 million this summer due to his contract status expiring next summer. Here is the total transfer window. Departures would include Lee Grant, Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata, Edison Cavani, Paul Pogba, Harry Maguire, Phil Jones, Scott McTominay, Brandon Williams, Anthony Martial, and Aaron Wan-Bissaka for a total of £77 million. Arrivals would include Ibrahim Sangare, Anthony, Paul Torres, Gianluca Scamacca, Jurian Timber, and Yori Tielemans for a total of £200 million, giving them a net spend of £123 million this summer. The final first team squad would go as follows. De Gea and Henderson as keepers, Shaw and Tellez as left backs, Timber and Dallow as right backs, Torres, Varane, Bailey, Lindelof, and Twanzabi as center backs, Sangari and Garner as defensive midfielders, Tielemans, Van de Beek, and Fred as central midfielders, Fernandez and Medjbri as attacking midfielders, Sancho and Rashford as left wingers, Anthony and Alanga as right wingers, and Ronaldo and Skamaka as strikers. This would be a great first team squad for them to have, and this will allow them to have a great future.